Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I decided to do some of my engrave art, scratch art. Which is nothing more than scratching. This is what it looks like so far. Hello, Angela. This is what it looks like so far. I only have this part left to do. Just some random scratches in the neck. Thank you. What you doing, Angela? Are you doing any crafts? Would you like to come on with me? You don't know how? Oh. You don't know how to do crafts or to come on live with me? Coming on live is as simple as clicking the link. That I would send you. Oh, you're taking a breathing treatment right now. You can't come on live if you're doing that. You need to be able to talk. Sure. I am going to do some felting too. Hello, Pam. Yes, I am going to do some felting. Um, I just want to finish up this peacock because there's not really that much left to do. And I want to get it done. So that's why I'm scratching away here. I, um, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to. The scratching is kind of annoying. I know you guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. Um, because I'm close, I'm really close to it, and it's kind of annoying. And I have a bit of a headache. I had one of those lingering headaches all day, so this is kind of driving me a little crazy. Maybe I can stick it out. I want to, I want to get this done. So, Pam, did you pick up a craft? Oh, you're going to be right back? Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Are you doing some crafting, Pam? Are you doing some some crochet or some sewing, some cutting? You're sewing. Do you want to come live with me? Hi, Stacy. Meow. Pam is sewing. Angela will be right back. I mentioned to everybody in my um, prompt along, Stacy, that um, I probably wouldn't be teaching any doing any stitch tutorials for a while because I'm still really really shaky and I I think people deserve better instructional instructional time than to watch somebody's hand shake while they're trying to show stitches so until my nerves calm down oh you're sewing with the machine oh 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 okay I thought you were hand stitching not your favorite thing to do, I know. Oh. 
still looking for someone to come on live with me if they want to. Pamela's! Hi, Kathy! You can come on? Oh, Pam, that would be great if you came on. Welcome, welcome, Kathy and everybody. And um, if you want to, Pam, let me, um, it's going to take me a minute. I have to bring everybody really in close so that I can disappear for a minute, copy the link, and then reappear. So hang on a second. Oh, Pam, where am I going to find you? Am I going to find you in text messaging or messenger? Am I going to find you in messenger? Mm Okay, I have the link copied. Now I need to get it to, which means I have to do this to get to here. And find Pam. And messages. Okay, Pam, I just sent you the link in Messenger. And now I'm going to come back into Did I do it? Am I back? Did I leave? Did I come back? Okay, and let me get my guest. Whoops, what happened to my guest? Pam? Oh, hang on.
Okay. Uh. Hello. Hi, Pam. Hang on. I've got two of me. I've got two of me. So hang on. Okay. Um, I have a fly in here buzzing around everywhere. <laughs> so if you hear a buzzing fly, it's because there's a fly in my craft room buzzing around. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Oh, crap. Now you're black. I'm black, but I'm hearing myself twice. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go all the way out and come back in. So hang on, okay. stay, Pam. I'll be right back. I haven't been on a line in a while too. Oh, I see two of Kellyanne. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Just kick one of yourselves out. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's not working. Um, Echo. Oh, I got two guys. Oh, wait, wait. Let's do this. Remove. Stream. Did that work? No, it didn't. Yeah. Really? I only see one of you. It's not yes, but I see you myself twice. Yeah, but that that'll be okay. Right? I guess it's technical difficulties, right? Hey, this fabric I'm using is a fabric. Well, it was a sheet, but it's fabric. It was one that I got from the thrift store a while ago when I showed it on a fabric haul. Kellyanne had said how much she liked it, but I used it. Um, we used a different fabric for her pamerals, but I'm making a pair for my niece. I think she's... Is she 13? I don't think she's 13 quite yet. I think she's 12. But she's in town with my sister. And she said she would like a pair. So I'm making her the same size I make my son. Is there still two of me? Yes. I only mm. see one of you.
All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys hear too with me? No. Just see one of you. And there's no echo. Okay. Well, I have a very bad echo. But that's Maybe? all white. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Good, Angela. Yeah, I'm hearing you twice. That, that's all right. So long as you guys don't hear... Well, I guess I can. Put the well, I'm not a guy. Oh sure. no! What does that mean? You hear a lamb? Are you hearing a lamb, Angela? If you're hearing something buzzing, it's my fly that has invaded my craft space. I have a pesky fly. A pesky fly? Yes. Well, just don't let it go down your throat. I won't. That happened to me once when I was roller skating. I was laughing, and just as I opened my mouth to laugh, a <laughs> fly went right down my throat. That's Choked me. Thought I was going to vomit. Who grossed me out? Now, this fly is very loud. Is it one of those big trash flies? That's a big fly. Yeah, it's one of those trash flies. A trash fly? Yeah, probably. I have kids. I have dogs. I have cats. I have rats. I have birds and hedgehog. And <laughs> you just have a pet menagerie. Yeah. And guess what? My son's what? rats had two babies. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Already, you can sell we've those back to the pet them. store. No, we didn't get them from the pet store. Oh, we got them from my sister. I don't have snakes, Angela. My sister has the snake. That was well, the there snake you go. On my video was that snake was at my sister's house, and I I recorded it eating its um rat lunch. Because it was feeding day. Well, I don't like watching it, but I know it has to happen. <laughs> yeah. There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps, Perhaps she'll die. die. <laughs> there was an old lady who swallowed a spider. They wriggled and jiggled and pickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. And I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. I know you don't like spiders either. No. <laughs> like that time I was showing that book and all of a sudden there was a spider in the book. and <laughs> I freaked. Then I was just on the video and you jumped. <laughs> Close the book. Very afraid of spiders. It's 
So you recognize this fabric, Kellyanne? I like it very much. It's a fabric that you originally said that you wanted a pair of pomeroles made out of. And then oh. we did the pink ones. I mean, no, we did the green, mint green ones. Yeah, the mint green ones that don't fit me yet. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I'm Can't sorry. wait till they do fit because I love the color. <laughs> A book series, huh? All that, that all the chicken I processed today, like I put in food saver bags and back. Yeah, you know it really doesn't provide a whole lot of bags. You know, there's a fair share, but huh? With how much my kids love chicken, it'll be gone in like the next month or so. Well, at least it'll last you a month. Yeah. Because I bought six packages. Yeah. <laughs> but I've already gone through, like, I bought six packages, but the other day I ended up cooking a whole package. Uh-huh. I made chicken soup and, um, and cooked up chicken for the kids the other day yeah so i had five things to take care of today okay it was a really good deal my camera a little bit and actually let me make myself big okay. so everybody can see my peacock it's a very pretty peacock there I am and there's my peacock one moment I'm being Summoned. Um, yeah. Yeah. It is kind of neat. I like the rainbow effect. I don't need to talk to There, that's done. My little scrapey tool. Thank you, Kathy. All right. So I can't put this see, yeah. where it won't get scratched. She just got herself big while she shows off her stuff. This way. Okay, wait. Let me bring Cam back. My okay, son was trying me. to say hi. Yeah, something to watch. Hold on. Let me bring Pam back. 
Yeah, I have something to tell you guys. Whoops. He wants to That's tell you something. To okay, yeah, wait a second. Um... Come on. There we go. Okay, now you can. Okay, tell him something, Ethan. Yeah, one of my rats named Remy gave birth last night. Oh, cool! So, so far from what I've seen, there's only two babies. Oh, very cool. Congratulations, you're a grandpa. No. <laughs> I'm, gonna be get, I'm gonna be sending the babies and Remy back to my cousin's house. I'm keeping one of the babies if it's male. Oh yeah. Oh, Samantha says when her babies get bigger and finds a male, she'll trade you out for one of those. I would have to introduce rats to each other, which takes a lot of time. And having mm -hmm. a completely separate cage for a, a new rat. Maybe. So I can then slowly introduce the rat to the other rat, so there's no fighting and possibly no death. Maybe thinking if he keeps one of the babies. Then he doesn't have to be introduced because they're already there. Yeah, they're already used to each other. Well, be careful. Mama rats have a tendency to eat their babies. Yeah. But the babies are super healthy so far. Yeah, they're like, they're pretty big like, ones too. Like the For newborn pinkies, they're pretty big. They're a lot bigger than the ones I've seen over at my sister's. Yeah, and they, her color is far more saturated and vibrant than my aunt's pink is. Oh, cool. So they're just more healthier and lower risk of death and possible cannibal and possible um, cannibalism. It's actually bigger than my actual pinky. Mm hmm Yeah. Cool. We have a chat size right at some point. <laughs> like the closest thing I can compare that to with my knowledge of uh, hamsters is the Rex baby, which is just a larger thing. Yeah. So I guess that's what the rats are. Awesome. Yes, we just keep them healthy. And their diet helps to come. No, they're not separated. They're all in the same cage. The mama's got to feed them, right? Yeah. Like at my sister's house. She has three females um, rats in with the one male rat. Mm hmm And so the females simultaneously produce. Like one of them had like 12 babies last week. No, the male's in with the mama also. But, um, his, the male rat's name is Stuart, and the female's mm -hmm. name is Remy, and Stuart is super protective of those babies. So I don't think he's going to do anything to harm them. Yeah, one of them had like 18 one time over at my sister's. Wow. 
I like super producers. Well, that's um, good for the snake then, right? <laughs> yeah, but the snake can't eat that many all at once. <laughs> well, how often do you feed the snake? He gets fed about once to twice a week. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Because oh. it's just a small snake, so it's not really big yet. Ah. But my sister, years ago, she used to have a big snake. It was, like, giant. And um, she had a big snake enclosure for it. And it produced... Well, she she also raised rats and stuff at that time. Hmm? Well, Samantha used to raise rats years yeah, ago. Yeah, rats and mice. Gonna do that downstairs. You don't want to do it upstairs. Okay. I thought it was plugged in for. That's what it looked like. be able to get both of us in this box better than this. Let me see the layout. I have a felting kit, but I haven't used it yet. And if my machine is too loud, I can mute my volume. Nope, you're not too loud at all. Okay. And guess what? That's as big as we were going to get. The goal for this piece of felt that I'm working on is this little body right here. And that the arms. Cute. I'm trying to pack this down. Yeah, poke number one. So do you not have any finger guards to protect your fingers if you accidentally poke? I do not. Why not? Because I haven't been to Salvation Army yet to see if I can find any leather gloves to put up. Because I don't want to pay $12 for a pair of gloves. Yeah. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Did you 
this for yourself? No, I felt the tip right in my eyebrow. <laughs> but it wasn't mm -hmm. directly. He's trying to torture himself with the hot glue gun. <laughs> So he was trying to use his face to move the little stand thing down. Like if you need to move the stand thing down, you can always go like this against the table. Okay, Ethan, you see that? You can go like this against the table to move the clamp down. You don't have to use your face to move it down. Because I don't want you burning yourself. Who are you talking to, Beth? So, is she talking to me or to you? I know, that's what I don't know. Julianne is felting a little, cute little, um, a little bunny. bunny. And I am sewing a pocket on the bib part of some Pamerols for my niece. There you go. Angela, yes. Um... You want the area you're working in to be firm. You don't want it to squish. Well, that face is so cute. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute, little bunny? See, there's no squish to my face. There's no squish to the... It's a hard ball. And see, there's still a lot of squish to this. See, that's why it looks bigger than the body. But once you compact it and cook it, it will be hard. Yeah. So, yes, that's my little bunny face. I made his ears big instead of little like the picture because I thought they looked better. Yeah, I love the big ears. <laughs> I do, too. I love this face. Thank you, Angela. So your little felt projects are cute because it shows you what you're making. Yeah, this one actually had good instructions. I mean, written out instructions. The last two that I did, I had to have Beth help me because they didn't have written out instructions. Oh, probably you had to, there's a little, a little bit on the barcode way. that you have to scan, and it takes you to this video, and it's in Chinese. So, Dad, you didn't help me. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Welcome, welcome. Try 
trying to decide, do I put back pockets on this? Or do I just leave it? You guys, I gotta tell you a funny story. So, I was looking at my Women Within magazine. And I saw all the pretty swimsuits. And I was thinking, stupid me, that I had to order a couple of sizes bigger like you do with the Chinese cat. <laughs> with, like with Wish and stuff. If you wear a 1X, you better order a 4X. <laughs> so stupid me. <laughs> I ordered a 4X reading thing. <laughs> it came in. <laughs> Choose me, <laughs> Oh my goodness! So I definitely need to return that bathing suit and get the actual size. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking Chinese sizes. Oh my goodness. Works better when it's the hot setting, huh? Well, the hot setting isn't even hot. But before you was doing it at the Sorry, lower. I'm not in camera. Well, I'm in camera. Yeah, but now you're at, you're at the higher setting and it's adhering better. I just got to make Stuart a new home and hope that he sleeps in it. Or he's just going to continue sleeping in his water bottle. Either one. In a given room in space. So Remy and her babies have their own space and Stuart can have his own space. Which is kind of smart for Odin. Yeah. At least they're not sewer rats. Yeah. <laughs> they're domestic, so they're nice. And they're not the size of cats. Although those two ooh, pinkies could end up being the size of at least a big kitten. <laughs> and a small kitten. Okay, Angela, hurry back. Mm, they'll probably be the size of, like, Chad, huh? Yeah, probably. Maybe they'll both be males. Yeah, for both males? <laughs> Three males. Off from me. But if they're both female, don't suck. Well, they're, well, hopefully it's like one male and one female. If I can keep one and then send two away. So keep two, send two away. Beth, what are you working on? Are you in bed with your legs up? I forgot. 
to do. Mm. I forgot to cook. You're having a snack in bed. I just had a nice juicy plum. Oof. Oh, yeah. You dripped down my chin and everything. Plums are good, especially if they're fresh off the tree. Mm. Actually, half fresh plums because you have a plum tree, I think. Well, yeah, I have a plum tree. I don't think it's growing anything, but it's probably dead. It's not dead. It's probably just a non-producing year. And made ATC cards. I know Beth and yeah, they were painting a flamingo. It's not part yeah. of it. I didn't say hi when I went in there, but oh, I saw part space. of the flamingo that they were working on. Even more space. I used to collect flamingos. So two of my nieces also want like two other ones. One wears a size eight and the other one wears a size six. Mm -hmm. They also you want have two nieces. I have like oh. I have Crystalline and Caitlin, oh, their nieces. Oh, yeah. And then we have what? Kaylee no, and I, Victoria. I was thinking wrong. I was confusing it with, um... Grandkids? With, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you only have one of those. Yeah. No, no one, one grand... Know. I'll have yeah, one yeah. granddaughter and two grandsons. Yep. Well, two nephews and one niece. Yep. But my, um, sister's little girls want some overalls also. But one wears a size six little girls and the other one wears a size eight. And so I I'm thinking if I did it in a knit fabric that would be cool. But I had to find the right pattern to make that would work with the knit fabric to make them. Welcome back. I did you leave you. I did leave you a thumbs up too when I walk, went in your room. I try to leave most people a thumbs up when I watch them. It doesn't always happen, but most of the time it does. Right now, I'm trying to make these little legs. So 
so cute. I don't know if I said hi to you, Sherry. I might have. I didn't. I didn't say hi to Sherry. No. No. Well, if I didn't, hello. Quite a creation there. Because I can put it in the corner. Yeah. And then hopefully Stuart will sleep in there instead of sleeping in the um, water bottle area. He's using like the beverage cup holders that we get when we go to McDonald's and stuff that hold the cups. He's using them, mm -hmm. he's recycling them. As part of cool. his rat's house. They already made them a house, but Stuart got kicked out due <laughs> to his um, habits. And there being children there now. <laughs> yeah, his habits. <laughs> He's telling me the story of his rat last night and it's overactive libido. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it even worse considering that same night she gave birth. 
<laughs> Too bad it didn't really work that way. Yeah. Instead of having to wait nine months, carry that around. Yeah, rats. Be like they they produce lifespan. so fast. I'd be like half its lifespan. Yeah, probably. Just like one, like just like two or three months would be plenty for a rat. So it doesn't have a whole lot to that to develop. Well, how long have we had Remy and Stuart? About a month, but Aunt Samantha said that one of them was already pregnant. Hmm. Uh, maybe she gave us the pregnant one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like Remy, so. Basically, I can put it in the corner of the cage like this. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to need to add in another edge right here. Mm. So you can't just look in on Stuart. Maybe Stuart wants you to look in on him. I think that would scare him. Okay. You burn your finger? No. Oh, you got a heart? No, I'm trying to open that again. Well, if you can't quite open it up sometimes, you can always just lay it like that. That's fine. Okay, Cassie. Sweet dreams. Well, if you fall asleep, that's a compliment. I guess some people would think that somebody's boring if they fell asleep to them, but... Oh, no, I just think that, that means I'm relaxing to listen to. Yeah. 
That's what I choose to think. I just listened to my cat. <laughs> There's no way I have to share my bed with Sarah. You choose to share your bed. No, I have to. Oh, do you? No, Sarah gets upset if I don't. Oh. <laughs> and I can't really do much about it when I'm sleeping. And I actually want him to come up on my bed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Or he'll just sit on my shelf and knock over his treats. Last night, because he wanted to stretch out on the shelf. Oh. Fun. <laughs> I'm just not that and then I can go to the next corner. Oh, yeah. I sold this all together and then realized I didn't even add the back pockets on it. I guess I don't have to add the back pockets, but I'm gonna try. He likes to whistle. Actually have to replace those occasionally and make sure that they're yeah. refreshed. Okay. I just think it's kind of sad to have to watch Stuart sleep out of a safe room, even though he's been doing it before. So, if you may just like it, it may just be cooler out there. Maybe. Or like in. That's possible too. Bye. 
I'm gonna take Stuart away from his wife, huh? I'm gonna take his wife away from him. <laughs> You're gonna give me a choice. I don't know how to go. I like Stuart. A little boy. Maybe. Let's find a way to sell your routes off spring. No, we could. Screwed up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I was going to say that I watched Kathy's live earlier today, but I watched a little bit of it, but I more so just listened to her. <laughs> yeah. Because I was busy doing chores. Making sure I got all the garbage out and picked up dog poop mm -hmm. out of the yard and scooped yeah. kitty boxes and yeah. Got the trash can out to the curb. Well, I'm glad my trash got taken care of today. Yeah. I had lobster shells and clam shells in my trash. Oh, fun. For my birthday. Which was Saturday. Yeah. On Saturday, I spent part of the day at my sister's house. Mm hmm. Not a barbecue. So they, they cooked hot dogs and hamburgers. Yum. And there was also baked potatoes and yams. Mmm. Sweet potatoes. I don't know. Sweet potatoes are very sweet. <laughs> I tried some of my mom's. I'm like, that's just a little bit too sweet. I like them. But I love sweet stuff. It's not that I don't like sweet stuff. I love candy and everything else.
actually cleaned off my table the other day because I had to cut out the pattern and I had stuff piled on the back side of my table. But I have a pretty big size table. It's like 35 inches wide. Mm -hmm. And like, let's see, like 70 inches long. Wow. When I was married, that was the sign of my dining room table. Yeah. I thought I was going to be the cool mom, you know, to have kids and all of their friends over all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Then my husband became mentally abusive. That sucks. And when we got divorced, he took his kids with him. So... Yeah, well, someday in my next life, maybe. So when you got married, you guys had kids. He had kids no, and brought into it? He had kids, yeah. He had kids from a previous marriage. Okay. I'm still in touch with the daughter a little bit, but the son is, his son was horrible. That's sad. Yeah. Well, my ex used to tell my kids lies about me. Oh. And so one day my son was telling me stuff, like questioning me on stuff. And I'm like, really, you really think I would do that? Seriously. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like, well, my dad says you did. And I'm like, yeah, and your dad's also a pathical liar and a manipulator, basically a narcissist. So you can't always believe everything he says. How many kids did he have? Two. Two. I guess that's not too bad. I'm going to put you on mute a minute. I've got a phone call. Okay. okay.
just one minute longer now. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being very quiet. I was concentrating. Oh. Yeah, my lady that comes in and helps me. She vacuumed my floors, did my dishes, took out the trash. Went and did a couple of errands for me at the store. And I still forgot to send out my mail. Look how cute he's going to be.
I gotta give him a pooch belly. He got a pooch belly. See, he got a little pooch belly. More? Don't forget, he's got to have his little apple purse on there. Or she. A little more. Okay. I put a little more.
belly. What I'm doing now is taking a thin veil of the wool and I'm using this short needle and smoothing out the surface, blending in the seams.
Okay, I'm back. Hi, back. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so there is a lady that um, she wants me to make some dog coats for her dogs. Well, oh, cool. She, she's a lady that helps um, dogs and puppies get adopted. Yeah. So she wanted some dog coats to drape around them um, for an adoption event type thing mm -hmm. that says adopt me. And she was showing me the size of the, the dogs that she needs adopted out. Hmm. But yeah. And then the dog got loose and Oops. Yeah. Ran ran into the neighbor's yard and then into the other neighbor's yard and we're finally able to wrangle it back in and but it was a very strong dog. So they're so they're very close in the size range of my daughter's dog. Yeah. Like the one that looks like my daughter's dog that's a male dog is a little bit mm -hmm. bigger. Oh. And then there was a female dog that was a different kind of dog. That's like the same height, but a little bit fatter, so. So it just kind of gives a good eye. She was showing me the dog so that I can make them little dog coats or something for the adoption event. When's the event? Well, she's doing one this weekend. Maybe she's doing one tomorrow, too, but she doesn't need them quite yet. But she needs um, ones because she does them, like, monthly. So she needs some um, to put on the dogs that she gets adopted out right. on a regular basis so that she can reuse them. But basically, she doesn't, she needs all sorts of different sizes because she helped us adopt out the other two puppies that we had here oh good yeah so you're back down to just two dogs yeah i wish i was down to just the one yeah <laughs> puppies are hard work Yes, they are. Like the puppy destroyed the water dish the other day. Oh, no. And so we decided to use the metal um, food dish for the water. And then it constantly picks up the food dish and dumps out all the water because it wants to move it. Ugh. It's like you can't do that. <laughs> But then they run out of water, and then you always wonder why they're always out of water, because the dog picks up the water dish. I have some food dishes that have the rounded edges that I got from the store. Now, if I could find a, like, a larger one like that, um, mm -hmm. that we have, I would get it. I know the other ones I got from the grocery store from Winco a couple months ago. But if I could find one like that with the rounded edges that's bigger, I would probably mm -hmm. do that just so that the dog can't pick it up and carry it away. Right. <laughs> I guess next time I go to the store, I'm going to have to look. Or 
I was thinking about getting a big pot and using that as a water dish. But a big what? Pot. Like a big, like, cooking pan. Metal cooking oh, pan. Oh, a big pot. Yeah, a yeah, big pot. pot. Yeah. I thought you said a big mop. Oh, yeah. M-O-P. Have them just suck on the fibers when they're thirsty, and when well, they're they thirsty, they're not apart so fast. <laughs> Silly dogs! And I got the pocket attached. Both of them. Well, my skills as a hairstylist are coming into play here. That's good. <laughs> How'd you give him a little you used to do hair? Pardon me? You used to do hair? Yes. So I knew you used to do nails. Yep. Well, I had to be a licensed cosmetologist in Maine in order to be able to do nails oh. because you can do nails on a cosmetology license yeah um, but they didn't have a nail school in Maine yeah so I had to learn how to do hair and everything just in order for me to go and do nails somewhere That was nice, huh? Eh, not really. I didn't really no. like the hair aspect. But, but hey, it paid the bills. The bills huh? Yeah. It paid the bills. My mom used to do hair. She used to do yeah. hair and stuff. Cool. My sister does hair. She was going to try to become a nurse, but after my other sister passed away, um, had some mental health issues, that, um, she couldn't finish her last quarter of nursing school. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Aww. So she went back to doing hair and stuff. Because that was the first thing that she, like, when she lived out here, she used to. Do the pooch belly. She did the cosmetology school and stuff. Pooch belly. But my other sister is a nurse, so. Cool. And then what, my one sister that passed away, she was also a nurse. Okay, now. We did that. Like I was outside and it started downpouring. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, it started sprinkling first. But then it just opened up and just started dumping. I got a little bit wet when I was outside. <laughs> well, how are you supposed to do it? Where's Beth? Is she sleeping yet? I have no idea. Well... It's so cute. I don't know how I'm supposed to stick it on there. It says, poke the body deep into the head with a short needle until it is fixed.
Oh, I forgot to make the leaf. I gotta make so the Stacey leaf. Stacy says to, to join the head, you poke the needle in at an angle. Okay. But it doesn't say whether I should use the short. Oh, yes, it does. It says with the short needle. Duh. Okay. I need to make a leaf. I need to make a leaf. I'm gonna make the leaf first. Oh, it's almost eleven. No wonder. Oh, it's almost nine here. But I'm almost done with these. <laughs> but yesterday I did most of it. And the day before I cut out all the pieces and searched them. Wondrous natures. Well, hello there, wondrous natures. What brings you onto my channel this fine late evening? Maybe they're having trouble sleeping. <laughs>
Sorry, didn't mean to make everybody seasick. So you're felting a little leaf or? Yeah, well, I'm felting kind of a big leaf so that I can cut it into a little leaf. <laughs> and yes, it's going to go right in his hat. Oh, okay. Right here behind the ear. Got to watch those fingers. Yes, that's why I'm making a bigger leaf first. <laughs> and then I'll just cut the little leaf out of it.
I'll have to do after I top stitch this is add on the buttons. That'll be it? Yep. Cool. And I'm almost finished with the top stitch. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now I have to put his head onto his body. I keep calling it a him. bad thing is I can't try this on and make sure the straps are in the right place because it's not my size. Oh no! <laughs> Hi Dusty Unicorn! How are you? I love his little face too. Hi Dusty! I could always have my son try it on. Because it would fit him. Can't have my daughter try it on because her belly wouldn't fit into it. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing that extra human in there just doesn't quite work. But my sisters do have sewing machines, so if the straps aren't quite right, they can adjust the button. This is true. Yeah. Fold up the strap a little bit and tack it down, and then add the button. Or just add the button and not tack it down. Maybe I'll do that. Well, what do you know? What? It's on. Awesome. Secure. I got the button. button. It's so cute. Now I just have to make the purse, which is an apple with leaves and a black body band. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do the head a little bit more just to make sure it stays on. Outside of a bit of a nagging headache, Dusty, I feel fine. Headaches are no fun. No. Especially when they're malingering like this one is. Oh, I ran out of bobbin thread. Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> trying to stitch on that last button and the bobbin thread is out am i quiet that's annoying <laughs> that's annoying Well, isn't that interesting? It's on there too, really well. <gasps> I almost forgot his little tail. Oh, did you forget to put on it? Yeah. Tail? Oh no. I almost forgot. Okay, now, apple. Okay, how the buttons attached? And if it's not quite right, my sisters can adjust it. Because my sister that my sister is staying with has a sewing machine. And then my sister, daughter that I made this for, well, my sister has a sewing machine back in Chicago. Mm hmm. Yay! Wait a minute. Let me make you big. Wait a minute. Not. 
well. Did you do here? See, it wouldn't quite fit me. <laughs> Well, that's me. I don't want me big. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure they can see it just like that. Yeah, like they can up. see it. I wanted to make it big, though. They look really cool. See, I knew I would have wanted a pair. <laughs> but I don't have enough of this fabric left to make another pair. No, 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 no. I have a little bit of fabric left. But I took a picture of it and showed it to my niece. And she said that she really liked it liked it so because she said she wanted something kind of red mm -hmm. and so I was well, down that's here definitely and I, yeah so i was down here and i look over and i'm like oh there's some red there i'll take a picture of that and send it to her and see what she thinks and she said she really liked it so i'm like perfect so i can take a picture of it and send it to my niece Well, I can tell you this is a bloody accident we didn't have Big long needle and a little tiny ball. Yeah. So I started on them on Sunday mm -hmm. and finished them today. She'll be so excited. Yeah, well, now you have something to show for Friday, so. I may not have them by the time Friday rolls around. Who knows? Oh, yeah, that's true. Depending on when they pick them up or I go over there. But they're supposed to do something on Saturday. And they said they wanted to go swimming or something. So they were going to go rafting. Um, but the rivers are too high. And so that's out of the question. Rafting is not an option. And last time they went rafting, I didn't go either. No. No. I think we drove up there and some of them went, but I don't think we went because I had, I still had a little one that I think Danny. No, it was Timo. Um, he was still nursing. 
the last time they went rafting when she came into town. So it's been a while, it's been like five years, but. Yeah. <laughs> I went whitewater rafting once when I was in high school and I was allowed to bring my best friend. Yeah. We had a blast. Blast. It rained all weekend <laughs> and the rivers were swollen and the white water was really white water. It was awesome. Yeah. Pam, my friend, I think I'm going to call it for the night because my eyes are getting blurry and I don't want to poke myself. All right, Kellyanne, I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much. Okay, for thank me. you so much for, for joining me. Go ahead. All right, bye now. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Oh, I'm tired. My eyes are blurry. My eyes are blurry. Oh, did you see the pretty bracelet I made? Yeah. I liked it so much, I kept it. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dusty. You take care as well. Meow, Stacy. And good night, everybody else. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Bye for now. Meow.